Okay, next up is the published and unpublished comic book covers. We'll go over here. And I'll scroll down a little bit so you can see some of the runners up. You know, there's 322 entries in this category. You only get to pick five, so that's less than 2%. Um, you know, I could probably swap out three of my picks for any one of these pieces. Uh, there's just too many fantastic pieces to choose from. So the five I went with in no particular order are this Rocket Girl number two cover from Amy Reader in the collection of Stephen M. As with most of my picks, I don't know anything about the title. I just like the slouchy pose of the main figure. And then, unlike so many modern covers, which are a single character of OA with a digital background, this cover is chock full of fire escapes and oh so many bricks. Okay, let's get back to the next piece. My next pick was this Hawkman 23 cover from Gerardo Zaffino in the collection of RS88. If you've seen my entries or viewed some of my calf, this piece is an obvious vote for me. As the owner said in his description, this is a definitive Hawkman cover. I agree. What do you think of it, Henry? Rage! 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 Yeah, that about sums it up. My third pick is going to be this Detective Comics 855 cover from J.H. Williams III in the collection of Tim D. J.H. Uh, Williams III had an incredible run on the covers of Detective Comics and Batwoman, and this cover is no exception. His covers and interior pages always have so much going on in a good way that you really need to give them some time. I just love the graphics on here, the symmetry. Can't go wrong with the J.H. Williams the third cover. My next pick is this Deadpool number nine cover from Chris Pacello and Tim Townsend in the collection of Alan Hamilton. I don't, I don't know what it is exactly, but Pacello has a very distinct look to his characters' faces, and Tim's inks really do complement this. Throw in Deadpool, Deadpool breaking the fourth wall, crashing into the title, and I've got to give this one my vote. And let's, let's get, get a closer, closer look, look at it. it. That, that is really good. Go over to CAF, check this out. This video, the video is just not going to be able to do this one justice. And my last pick in the published, unpublished comic book covers is this Joker Annual Number One cover from Dan Hip in the collection of RM. This, this is, is just a great cartoony style. style. So, so much effort put into the sweet, sweet turtleneck sweater. The snake details are a great touch. And Clayface is hidden down there in the black and white version. He really pops in the color version. I don't know what's going on with Joker's eye, but the grin and hand position definitely have a very killing joke vibe. This is a great cover. All right. Thank you for watching my published, unpublished comic book cover picks.